I am on the fast track. Andrew got back quite late last night. I don't know, about nine o'clock after drilling that field. So we harvested the barley and it's now drilled with oilseed rape. So see if we squeeze through the gap. So fingers crossed we get some rain at the weekend or, or Saturday, Sunday maybe. And the oilseed rape starts to grow. So Mel's here from Hawke's Bay. Altry Bank and a dad lives in New Zealand so we're just showing him around and we're going to go to Everton and empty the grass clippings from Everton as well. Good rates at the moment or not? I can't comment on that Ollie. Oh. <laughs> grass doesn't half grow when it's irrigated. We were only here last week. The white lines still look like they're there. That's handy. I'd run out of washer fluid but the, uh, the sprinklers have popped up so I can wash my window. Quite clever, they've got like a little lump of turf on the top of it, you see? Like totally hidden. Where's it gone? There you go. Like a little Ed the Duck. Who's old enough to remember Ed the Duck? Someone said they'd not seen Chester for a while in the video. Well, here he is. Doing a zoom in the garden. And sniffing the big owl. Start to jump start the pavement. I'd left the uh, door open the other day over the weekend. And the interior light flat on the battery. Most asked question last night, how many hours has the Bateman done? 424, but that's engine hours, so it's not actually spraying hours. A lot of the time, obviously, it's filling up. Watch how close this is. Oh, it's touching now, it didn't touch before. <laughs> there we go. Just waiting for a gap in the tracks. Can't see the trains. Trees are overhanging a little bit again. Uh, just, there's the odd gust of wind, um, luckily the field, the field is pretty sheltered when I get into it but the railway is quite exposed because it's obviously dead long but when I've crossed over then and opened the gates it's still in the field luckily because I've got quite a bit of spraying to do. There we go, wheat for harvest 2023, it's now going in, there's actually a little bit of moisture down there as well. Still a lot of dust coming off the drill though. So we're drilling DSV Champion, I think it's a breeder. I'm just looking at the depth. I think the depth's about right. He says that he can't find one on camera. There we go. So that's there's a little bit of moisture where it's drilled into. But it is quite dry. I think it'll be, be a good week or so before it's up. Seed rate only 150 kilos now. Hopefully it'll tiller. It's very early, so that's why we're going with a low seed rate. Because we can. Saves a bit of seed. Uh, that's probably one of the most expensive ways of, of the most expensive bit of starting growing a crop. We're not using much diesel. We've actually got it on Andrew's uh, small valter again today because it was on from yesterday. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. Autumn drilling has begun. I'm not even sure if it's autumn or summer to be fair, but first of September anyway. We've just been looking. We see the odd seed just on top. See, there's one there. So we're going to put it a little bit deeper. Um, I'm not too sure where to roll it either because it's quite a lot of loose soil and it's just a bit mound. I don't know, just leave it for the weather to break down or, or roll it and get a bit flatter. Never really seen conditions like this at this time of year. So it's a bit like, hmm, what's best? Because if we roll it, it could also turn to like just complete dust and then when it rains, it'll turn to mush. But I think if we do get rain, it's, it's gonna take a long time to wet the ground. Just come up to another field now, see how windy it was. I thought it'd be quite sheltered because there's trees over there, but it's far too windy to spray. So the forecast tomorrow says it's better. So I think I'm gonna have to head back to the yard, park up for the night with the sprayer, and then um, try again tomorrow. Actually, the be further field I'm in mean, now that was driving through to get to that one does need doing. Um, this is quite still this side because there's two hedgerows in the way. Oh, the house over there now. Go lower with the boom in this one. Anyway, I've uh, decided to spray a little bit. To be fair, there's no drift at all on this field. Just amazing then what them hedgerows can do if they're in the right place. Everywhere we go now, we're finding these blue canisters. There's just found four in this field. I think it's uh, nitrous oxide that people, I don't know whether they sniff it or smell it, whatever. But it's also what you could use to make tractors more powerful when your tractors pull them as well. They're everywhere. Don't forget, 
Wednesday the 28th of September. Cheshire ploughing match. What? We're going to take two tractors to put on the FCN stand so that it makes the stand more interesting. Which two should we take? Let me know in the comments. Let me know if you're going as well, or if you've never been, where you want to go. You know, uh, stick in the comments. Just on a message, I won't say who texts me because it's embarrassing as to why they did. Just obviously spraying this off and they text saying, why are you spraying that field? You've combined it. Well, because, see the grass weeds? We're killing them. Dead cheap, Louis glyphosate. And then when we drill wheat in, hopefully nothing will be growing in the field other than the wheat that we've drilled is the plant. Maybe the odd volunteer bean. But that doesn't matter. They're just going to be fixing it. And uh, we'll knock that out probably in the spring if the winter doesn't kill them off. But yeah, we're, we're basically cleaning the field, ready for the next crop. News just in. This... Just one best text at the show that man has been at today. Bread on the expert, expertly grown grass at Rain Hill. Everyone's saying I should trade this one in for the tractor puller because it's not as usable on the farm. What do you think? Right, time for the birthday bumper. So we've got Nicholas Riding, Callum Carr, Vicky Trainer, Maxine Holford, Jacob Palmer, Hugo, and Aurora Lambert. Sorry can't pronounce names like that um yeah happy birthday everyone on there and anyone else whose birthday is today just here looking at the oil seed rape because andrew was concerned it wasn't coming up properly but it's just a stubble hiding it if you look from this angle it looks like there's nothing in that bit but if you go here it's all nicely there in the rows it's just the stubbles hiding it a little bit but yeah i'm quite pleased with how this is coming up and that bit that's shook on by hand where the row of straw had been the slugs had had a go at that that's coming up now anyway you can see there's a little bits that I've sown a little bit of slug activity still but coming up so hopefully we won't have a have a bird patch there where that row was missed Andrew emptied the rape out of the drill before into the seed top so we were just drilling some off the pile yesterday to see like I say cover crop or maybe if it takes full crop of oil seed rape so we dropped it on the seed top so we're gonna lift that up now and drop it straight in the bag don't forget you can buy them on Spalding's website that's about it for today I feel really tired today I think it's the adrenaline of harvest isn't with me at the moment but I've not got the uh, adrenaline of sowing yet either so that's thanks for watching see you all tomorrow if you made it this far it'd be great if you could click like then more people will see it on YouTube see you tomorrow oh actually no before I forget Check out the link below to Cotswold Farm Park. So there's a video on there of me and Adam in our sunflowers. So check it out. The link's below this video.